know, usually we talk about, look, in Amar Rasul Yusuf, with hardship comes ease, there is light at the end of the tunnel. But what you're not realizing is there may be light in the moment that you are in. You simply can't see it. We usually talk about, you know, this will pass. But what you might not realize is what you want to pass might actually be your greatest blessing. It might actually have the blessing in it at that moment. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also, as the ulama saying, making an excuse for us as human beings and saying that the reason why you cannot appreciate this is because you don't know what's actually happening. And so, of course, you're experiencing this particular moment, this particular episode of your life in this way. But you do know al adim you do know the one who knows all. Knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows should give you comfort. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I thought I was going to be up a lot earlier. I had to be realistic. I was so tired from yesterday. I went to bed about like 4 in the morning. 4, 4.30 because my body's still adjusting to the UK time. We're about 4 hours behind. So, yeah. It's just, it hasn't been cute. That's all I'm gonna say. I, mean, I wonder how people in Australia feel actually because they're usually a day ahead before like the rest of the world, which is crazy. But sunscreen first. Honestly, you guys, I need to find a new sunscreen because this one's a bit like, it's great, but it's kind of greasy. It does the job though. I know it does the job. I did say, by the way, guys, that if you guys have any suggestions or things that you guys want me to do or check out, do let me know, inshallah, in the comment section. <laughs> But this is the final makeup look. If you're really into like a cat eye effect, this one's really great. And it like kind of snatches it. You know what I'm saying? It just looks, you know, like, I love it. But yeah, this is my final makeup look, you guys. What do you guys think? I love the lip combo as well. Honestly, today is gonna be a pretty much a solo day. A lot of the days that I'm gonna be here are gonna be solo days because Hamza ended up going to the desert with his friend. He told me to come, but I was like, the way my knees are set up, I cannot handle doing activities. So no, that's not gonna happen. But um, I'm thinking of going to the cafe, inshallah. Read this new book that I actually got. Let me show you guys. I got this book recently. It's called Spiritual Medicine. I've been seeing a lot of people raving about this book, so I ordered it before I left, and I was like, this is going to be my book for Ramadan, inshallah. I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about it, but I'm really excited. So I have my new book for Ramadan, and then also I'm going to bring my Quran with me so I can read a little bit. Read a little bit of Quran by the water. Read a little bit of this book by the water. You know, I'm trying to romanticize my life a little bit, you know? This is kind of where I'm at so far. Um, it still needs a lot of work. I still need to add, like, details, add another character to the side and add details in the background so that may end up taking a lot longer than i initially anticipated but yeah so let's get ready and i will be back when i'm dressed and ready inshallah Oftentimes, I really find myself right by the water because I'm so captivated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and the infinite expanse of the ocean, or even how swayed I am by the rhythmic lull of waves that caress the shore. And it's in these moments that I really, really feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence coursing through the natural world around me. And the tranquility and peace that the water bestows upon me really serves as a portal and a gateway that allows me to turn my thoughts and my heart towards both prayer and introspection. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of my daily life, Ramadan really emerges as a gentle reminder to slow down, to seek solace in the silence and serenity that it offers. And being by the water amidst the symphony of nature, I really find this peace and this profound silence that allows me to feel a deep soulful connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I really feel a deep friendship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a closeness that is both comforting and enlightening. Ramadan is a beautiful journey and a spiritual voyage that really brings me closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love and mercy and it offers me the chance to really cherish the countless blessings in my life, to extend a helping hand to those who are less fortunate and to really immerse myself in acts of kindness and compassion. 
And I'm really reminded time and time again of the healing power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love and of its capacity to really mend our broken hearts and to soothe our souls. And I pray inshallah that this Ramadan is incredible for all of you and that you're provided the opportunity to feel a lot closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's also remember not to forget everyone in Gaza, in Sudan, in Congo, and in many other places across the world who really, really need our du'as and to keep them in our most sincere du'as. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alleviate their pain and their suffering and allow us to see freedom in this lifetime, Ya Rab. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lift our hearts and make us feel that closeness and allow us to feel peace and tranquility during this month. Ameen. I am feeling so emotional, like I feel like I want to cry because there's no better feeling than listening to Qur'an while you're sitting by the water and I just, my heart feels so light but Alhamdulillah, Wallahi, God is so good you guys, like I'm so grateful, like this is seriously an answered dua, like I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make my heart feel at peace and to feel closer to Him and I'm telling you guys, for me personally, when I'm by the water and I'm really taking in um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, the beauty of nature, um, it really, really makes me feel closer to Him. So, alhamdulillah, my heart needs Ramadan more than you guys can think. Like, yeah, I can't even explain to you how badly my heart needs Ramadan, but it's getting dark now, so I don't want to be by the water after Maghrib, so I'm actually going to head out. I'm also kind of hungry as well. But this was much needed. I think I'm gonna aim to try to come to the beach as much as I can. Last time I came here, I didn't do that as much as I would have liked. So this time around, I'm going to try my best to just be at the beach as often as I can. And alhamdulillah for everything. Let's go get some food because I'm super hungry. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I'm recording on my phone because my camera died. I forgot to bring my extra battery. So I'm gonna charge it actually when I'm sat at the cafe. So if you guys see like a switch in quality from like my phone to my camera, to my phone to my camera, don't mind that, okay? Also sometimes I feel like my iPhone camera catches like the sunset better and things like that. So I apologize for that, for the inconsistency in quality. But regardless, I hope that you guys are enjoying this vlog anyways. and. I hope that you guys can feel the peace that I'm radiating and that it um, that it reaches you as well and um, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you guys the opportunity to feel closer to him. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking before I cry and ruin my makeup. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys in a bit, inshallah. But can you guys hear the Quran? They're praying Maghrib right now. Let's see if you can hear it. I will never ever get tired of the fact that there's masjids right on the beach. SubhanAllah, like it's just so nice and quiet. And I just love solo dates. Like this is your sign to go on a solo date, inshallah. <laughs> Okay guys, I was finally able to charge my camera, alhamdulillah. So I am at Saba Cafe. This is what it looks like. And I gave you guys my little matcha, second matcha of the day. But I love this cafe. I always come here every time I'm in Dubai. And I just love it because it's one of the cafes that are really well done, but is never like packed out and busy, which I prefer. So I'm currently getting some work done. And then I'm probably gonna head home. When I was parking my car, the guy who was servicing tickets saw me walking and waited for me till I got in the car and was like, I'm not gonna give you a ticket, it's fine. And I was like, thank you so much. That was a dua that was answered. I was literally making dua that, Allah, that I wouldn't get a ticket. And he was so nice. He's like, where are you from? He's like, you have an accent. He's like, are you British? I'm like, no. Clearly, I don't have a British accent, but alhamdulillah, he was really, really sweet. So I didn't end up getting a ticket, which is really good, alhamdulillah. I need to figure out the way that you pay for tickets here is a little bit odd. You have to like text a certain number and then it has to be connected to like your phone plan. So you have to have minutes on your phone and it's just like a really, the whole thing. But anyways, 
had such a good day you guys alhamdulillah 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 but i think i'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog here i don't know how long the vlog is gonna be but i think i'm gonna end it here and if you guys enjoyed the vlog of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys on my next vlog bye guys عمري حسيت بأمان عمر الكل هيسي بعمري صار في لحظة كان مدري كيف خير لي عمري حسيت بأمان عمر الكل هيسي بعمري صار في لحظة كان كل مي وصل قلبي بكل مي نرار نار بسمي عبسني قلبي احتار نسان اسمي بدري كيف وين كل مي وصل قلبي بكل مي نرار نار بسمي عبسني قلبي احتار نسان اسمي بدري كيف وين بدري كيف